Hey guys, it's Rich Ferguson here, and you requested it, and so I'm doing it. I'm teaching you 10 epic and simple ways you can force a card in a card trick. Now, what is forcing a card? It's as simple as this. Let's say you have an ace of spades hidden somewhere in the house, in someone's sandwich, in their shoe, whatever it might be. Then you take out a regular deck of cards, and you have them freely select a card. Well, that selection is not a free choice. You secretly force that one particular card on them, and then you reveal the impossible. So sit back and enjoy as I teach you 10 easy ways you can look like a badass magician, and be sure to hit that like button button. Check it out. For this first force, hold the deck from the sides with your middle finger and thumb like this. Put the card you want to force on the bottom of the deck, and what you're going to do is reach underneath the deck with your other hand, with your middle finger and thumb, and pull off sections of cards from the top of the deck like this. And you just pull and pull and pull until they say stop, and then you show them the card that they selected, which of course is still the bottom card. Let me show you one more time what's happening up close in the mechanics. The card's on the bottom, you pull from the top into the awaiting other hand, they say stop, and there's the card. But just keep in mind that when you pull, don't pull far away like this, make sure that the cards come back so it looks like you're just pulling random cards in chunks off of the deck, but what you're really doing is keeping the bottom card intact. Nine more forces to go. Now imagine you have a deck of cards on the table and you literally flick the pack and the chosen card appears. That's what's next. So pull the cards out of the card case and place them on the table and then you're gonna tell someone all you're gonna do is flick the cards and there's their chosen card. The explanation is gonna blow your mind. It uses salt. Take a deck of cards, put a little bit of salt, like four or five little granules of salt onto a deck and put the force card right here on the bottom of this top pack, right on top, sandwich it up and the rest is almost automatic. Let me zoom in and show you now that you know the secret. So I've placed some salt on the deck. Here's the forced card right here. They come out of the card case like this, put them on the table, and you're gonna flick with the tip of your fingernail right here up. And guess what happens? It automatically flips the cards at that location. Why? Because there's a slight break in the pack where that salt is. What an epic idea. Give this video a thumbs up. Use the force, Luke. This next one's called a slip force. Hold the deck in your hand like this with your fingers all around the edges and you're gonna riffle down one corner with your thumb. What you're gonna do is have the victim or spectator tell you when to stop. When they tell you to stop, just remove that top portion of cards but with one little tricky move. So when you hold the deck like this, your fingers go around the edge which is making contact with this top card right here. That allows you to slip that card off secretly. So when you riffle through the deck and they say stop, you're pulling all those cards away except right here for that top card. It slides off very quickly and then you show them the card they stopped at. So again, it would look like this. Riffle, they say stop, you pull, and there's the card. In this awesome and easy card force, you're gonna do the same thing. Riffle your fingers down the edge of the deck like this and what's gonna happen is a spectator is gonna tell you when to stop and you cut the deck right there and show them the card. It seems similar to the previous one but it's way different because this card is in the middle of the deck. Let me show you up close the secret. Start off with the force card on top of the deck. Then give the card a cut. There's the force card right here. Put it in the middle, except what you're gonna do is not close that cut all the way. It looks squared up from the front, but from the back, you have your big old pinky in there. It's called a pinky break. So from the front, it looks like this, and you can run your finger down the edge until they say stop. When they say stop, you don't grab from here. You grab from the back and look as if you're grabbing from there and then there's that ace of spades. Let me show you from the back what it looks like. From the front, you're gonna riffle down with your thumb until they say stop, then you're gonna pick up the cards from this break you have in the back, and then show them that card. How cool is that? The force is strong with you. For this next one, set up your cards in the same way. Have your force card in the middle of the deck with the other half of the pack on top, but with that special pinky break right here in the back. From the front, they can't tell. And what you're gonna do is cut the cards until they tell you to stop. So up close again, here's the chosen card with the other pack on top. Square it up, but not really. You're going to pull off a small section of cards onto the table, and again, and again, until they say stop. They say stop, there's the chosen card. So one more time in full speed, here's the chosen card. This is what you'll say. I'm gonna cut the cards, just tell me when to stop. They say stop, well guess what? Continue that cut you started, there's the chosen card. If they were to continue, 
and say stop, here's that chosen card. So just keep track of where that chosen card is in the pack and it's either going to be here or here. Start by pulling small sections off as you say, I'm going to cut the cards like this, just tell me when to stop. Well, during all that, they're not going to say anything because you're talking. Now continue knowing that that's the last piece and here's the chosen card. If they say stop, go great, here's your card. If you go another one and they say stop, there's the card. Well, if they go to the very end and you're all done, say, well, now we're out of cards, here's your chosen card. So without seeing this in action, it's gonna be hard for you to believe how simple and effective this is, so I'm gonna grab my cameraman. All right, here, hold out your hands for me. I'm gonna go through the cards like this very slowly. What I want you to do is just tell me when to stop. Stop. You sure? Yeah. Okay, remember your card. See, once again, that secret ace of spades. I'm just gonna go through the cards like this, and you just tell me when to stop anytime you want. Stop. You sure? Yes. Okay, well here's your chosen card. Let go. This next one's great because all you do is have them cut the cards. All you do is have the spectator cut the cards anywhere they want. You take the remaining cards, turn them sideways, and mark where the spectator cut. That's all you have to do. And then talk about the card trick or whatever you're about to do with them and say, let's take a look where you cut. And then you show them their chosen card. So the setup is so simple. Put the chosen card or force card on top, have them cut, take the remaining cards and put them on the deck the other direction. It's called a crisscross force. You've marked it, then you look up and make eye contact for just a moment so they forget which half is which and say, we're gonna try something impossible. Let's see where you cut. You pick up the pack that you placed onto their card and then you show them the card. It fools everybody. Once again, the chosen card's on top, they cut, you mark it, you take off the part you put there and show them the card that was on top originally, but it looks like it's a card they cut too. I've been doing magic professionally for 20 years and I have made up a lot of weird ways to do things with cards. Here's one of them. Have someone literally shuffle up the cards, take the cards back, you put them into the card case, you give them the card case and then talk to them a minute about the trick you're about to do. Say, we're gonna try something insane. You've shuffled up the cards, I haven't touched them. Take the cards out and just look at the top card real quick. Put it back in the deck so I can't peek. So they take the cards, they pull them out of the deck themselves, they just shuffle them, they look at the top card, and guess what? It's that force card once again. So the setup of this is very simple. Take this one from the deck, place it in here, put it on the table, have them shuffle up the cards any way they want. Take those cards from them. They're not gonna remember this part, trust me. Put those into the pack, but do it in a way so that that card is facing in the direction it needs to be so it ends up being on top. Slide those in there, close them up, and make a big deal about, I don't wanna touch them, you take the cards, give them back to them, and then continue with the dressing that you wanna do for your trick. Just like the crisscross force, as long as you're looking up, they have the cards and you're talking, they're gonna forget who did what a moment later. It's that simple. Force is strong in this week. Luke, trust me. This next one's great if you already have a prediction inside of an envelope or maybe inside of the card case. Check this out. Have a person take the cards, shuffle them up, and then drop cards or deal onto the table and stop whenever they want and it'll be their selected card. Let's say a spectator is dealing on the table and they choose to stop right there. You take the card case and say, I'm gonna mark it. That's where you stopped. Let's try something. And then you talk about your trick. And then here's what you're doing secretly is on the back of the card case, you actually have that force card. So when you mark where they've stopped, you've added this card to the pile. So obviously you can do this really easily with an envelope as well. Let's say there's a prediction inside of here. So you can have them deal a certain amount of cards. Inside of here could be a piece of paper that says, I knew you would stop at the Ace of Spades. You take the envelope, they stop, you place this on here, square them up, and then of course, say inside of here, don't touch it, say inside of there is a prediction. They take this, and of course, you force this card. Use the force and click that like button. This next one forces the card in their mind. It is so cool and so simple. Watch this. I'm gonna rip through the cards like this. I want you to remember one card, but not the bottom card. Watch. You got one? So you probably already suspect what's going on because you're familiar with the fact that I'm forcing you the ace of spades right now. But what's really going on is there's a slight delay at that particular card. How's that happen? Well, 
the card right before it is shortened by just a little bit. Let me show you how you make this card. You simply take a pair of scissors and cut off about a sixteenth of an inch of that card and this is what goes on to the deck right before your force card. Here's this shortened card. It's going to go onto the deck and then here's the rest of the pack with my force card right here and then just kind of pack it down so that there's a little gap between that card and your card, the force card. So when you riffle, watch what happens. It automatically stops at that spot. So it really comes down to you just timing this right and then it forces that card in their mind. Do or do not. There is no try. This next one just might be the first card force most people learn because it's so simple and it doesn't look very magical. But what happens is you simply pull back cards one at a time until they tell you to stop. And then when they say to stop, you lift up the cards and there's the force card. As you slide back the top cards one at a time, you're asking your spectator to tell you when to stop. But little do they know that underneath you've pulled the bottom card underneath those cards with your thumb as you're pulling these top cards back. So when they say stop, it's a very simple matter to just lift up the cards and the bottom card comes with it. How cool is that? So the setup for this is obviously putting the force card on the bottom and as you're pulling back those top cards, slowly pull back that bottom card with your thumb so that when they say stop, you can easily pull that up and reveal the force card. A Jedi uses the force for knowledge and defense. Never attack. Here's a bonus one for you and it might be a little weird for some of you. What you're going to do is pull back the bottom card with your finger from underneath. From the, from the top or the front you can't tell. What you're going to do is pull out cards and place them on the table until your spectator says stop. When they say stop of course what you do is reach underneath far enough to grab the actual force card and pull it out and show it to them. It'll look like it came right off the bottom. Now what's cool about this and the reason I'm teaching it to you is because learning to do this little move will come in handy for other card tricks that I might teach you in the future. Once again this is what it looks like in action. Just pull cards out until they tell you to stop. Let's say they say stop, pull out the card, there it is. So when I first pulled out the cards from the pack, the force card was on the bottom already and I immediately just pulled it back a little bit so I can pull the other cards. Just make sure your hands down the entire time. It's as simple as that. All right guys, we can't do a card force video without a card giveaway. So here's my custom deck of cards with a 32 page book of tricks you can do at home to fool your friends. So comment down below, smash that like button like mad. Please share this video, comment down below and let me know you've done so and I'll pick a random name and I will send this off to one of you. All right guys, thank you so much for the support. I'll catch you guys next week. Peace. Subscribe to Rich Ferguson or else. <laughs>